All right. Okay. Today we are back with a very special reaction video. We are going to combine a few artists today. The first time we've ever done it. First time we've ever done it. Uh, and artists who we haven't listened to in many, many months. Man, the people have been getting on us, Jude. Yeah. As recently as today. Today, I saw a comment. You haven't listened to Dimash in eight months. Today, that changes. We have a special, special reaction video that's going to include both Dimash and Angelina Jordan. Yeah. So the reason being, they both covered the song that we are about to listen to, right? Yeah, a classic song that I think we've heard before. I don't know. I mean, similar to, what was it? Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. And another Queen song that we thought we had never heard before. Mm -hmm. It lived inside of us. Yeah. Because we heard it very often growing up. Mm -hmm. And today might be a similar case. I think so. I think we have heard the show must go on, but we just don't recall it yeah but jared today we are about to go on an educational journey yeah and it's been a while since we've been on one of these educational journeys but every time we listen to angelina jordan or dimash we tend to go on all these different detours and learn so much about not only them but the previous artists that came before them yeah and the artists whose songs they cover and i'll be really interested first to hear queen's rendition of this song mm -hmm. and then to see if angelina jordan and dimash have different renditions because as we know jordan both artists are extremely talented and diverse in their vocal abilities yes so I, we know dimash can go extremely low and extremely high. We know AJ can do all sorts of stuff, rasp, you know, vocal fry. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is going to be a journey, Jordan. Oh, for sure. But we're going to start at the very beginning. Yeah. So let's first search the song up on Wikipedia, and then we're going to jump into Queen's original version before we uh, go on to theirs. Okay. So on Wikipedia, it says that The Show Must Go On is a song by British rock band Queen featured as the 12th and final track on their 1991 album, Innuendo. It is credited to Queen, but written mainly by Brian May. The song chronicles the effort of frontman Freddie Mercury continuing to perform despite approaching the end of his life. Ooh. Wow. Is that why it's called The Show Must Go On? Uh, that's what it looks like. Although his diagnosis with HIV AIDS had not yet been made public in spite of ongoing media speculation claiming that he was seriously ill. Okay, so this uh, has some deeper meaning yeah. and uh, may be very impactful here. Yeah. When the band recorded the song in 1990, Mercury's condition had deteriorated to the point that May had concerns as to whether he was physically capable of singing it. Mm. May recalls, I said, Fred, I don't know if this is going to be possible to sing. And he went, I'll f do it, darling. Oof. Vodka down and went in and killed it. Completely lacerated that vocal. Okay. In a good way? Are they talking about when he was recording the song for the like the studio version or a live performance? Because ah. if it's the latter, Jordan, I mean, we have to watch that live performance. I think they're talking about when he originally recorded it. It says oh, wow. when the band recorded the song in 1990. Okay. Okay. Got it. So in the studio, it must be. Yeah. He went in there and said, I'll f do it, darling. Wow. Vodka down. So... May, Brian May said, I don't know if this is going to be possible to sing. Yeah. And Freddie Mercury went and proved him wrong. Killed it. Okay, so on Wikipedia, it continues, it was released as a single in the United Kingdom on October 14th, 1991, in promotion for the Greatest Hits 2 album, just six weeks before mm. Mercury died. Mm-hmm. Following Mercury's death on November 24th, 1991, the song re-entered the British charts 
and spent as many weeks in the top 75, five weeks, as it did upon its original release, wow. initially reaching a peak of 16 in the charts. Okay, wow. a live version of Elton John on vocals appeared on Queen's Greatest Hits 3 album. Okay. Okay. Man, so a lot deeper than I thought it was going to get initially to start off with you. Yeah, I mean, this title is sort of deceiving for us. We weren't even born <laughs> when this song was released. Mm -hmm. And to hear a song called The Show Must Go On, it sounds like a either a Broadway record, right? Mm. Or a very flashy, uh, happy song, which it may be. Well, Jared, it says right here that it's hard rock and uh, symphonic. symphonic rock. Ah. All right. It is time to listen to The Show Must Go On. Okay. By Queen. We're going to check out the official video, and then we'll get to Dimash and Angelina Jordan after that. Let's go. Here we go, everybody. This is Queen. The Show Must Go On. Hey, hey Freddie Mercury. Freddie. <laughs>
It's on a loop. That's interesting. It's stuck right there. on loop. Stuck on loop. It's going on though, Jared. Ooh, I never heard that before. No, I've never heard that song before. Never. And I thought I had. I, I mean, how many views does this have on on YouTube? Oh, Jared, this is. Oh boy. I, I mean, we're talking. Yeah, massively popular. Okay, look, I, I'm. It, yeah, I'm probably more embarrassed that we've never heard it than I would be if we had heard it and just forgot what it sounded like. Mm -hmm. Jordan, I mean, 219 million views on YouTube. Yeah, that doesn't even, even signify anything. No, no, no. It was released in 2013. It was released on YouTube in 2013. <laughs> okay, you saw how many people were at that concert <laughs> oh, my that they had footage of in this yeah. music video. Yeah. Outrageous. Crazy. Jordan, what are your first thoughts about what we just heard or saw. Okay, first of all, while we were listening, right, it just kept ringing in my ear what we had just yeah read yeah about his condition deteriorating, right, and him going into the studio saying, "I'll f do it, mm. darling." Yeah, that last part is is important because that's what we saw in the video. Yes, sir. Him not taking himself serious, Jerry. Yes. Like, if we hadn't read that, okay, maybe I would have thought, oh, they're just trying to be funny. This is just a yeah. funny video, funny song that they created. No, no, no. I feel like there's even more underneath this song and this video going on than what we read. Yeah. But based on what we read, you could hear the pain in his voice. Yes. You could hear the, not desperation. It felt like he was fighting. Yeah. He was fighting until the very end. But he understood that no matter what, the show must go on. Yeah. And I just wrote down a few of his lyrics. He said, inside, my heart is breaking. Ooh. And then I forget the lyric he said after that. He said, but my smile stays on. Hey, now, that's it. That's what you saw in this, man. He wasn't taking himself serious at all. Yeah. Did you see him with the vacuum? Did, you, did I see him with the vacuum? <laughs> Jordan, this man morphed yeah. into 30 different characters mm. here. I mean, it made me wonder, when was this music video created? Right. Right? Because the energy and the life and the vibrance yeah. that we see in Freddie Mercury throughout this music video was just off the charts. It was it was off the charts, man. That's his, <laughs> You can tell that's his personality. Yeah. Jordan, you're spot on with everything you said. The one word that came to me when I was watching this music video was eccentric. Eccentric. And can we look that word up? We're going to have to because I wanna, unfortunately, I don't, don't want to botch the definition of it. Yeah, I don't have a definition in my head. <laughs> of a person or their behavior, unconventional and slightly strange. Ah. I, I sort of think of eccentric as just wholly unique. Yeah. You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. like that person is very eccentric. Like, okay, Freddie Mercury mm -hmm. now comes to my mind when I think of the word eccentric. eccentric. Interesting. So, I mean, what we just experienced was an eccentric experience. Uh, Jordan, Freddie Mercury's acceptance of death mm. and mortality Yet also his humility mm. and grace and ability to put all of that on display yeah. in this music video oh, yeah. with this song. I mean, it leaves you speechless. It truly does, man. You heard his voice. Yeah. Like Brian May said, he killed it. Yeah, Jordan, that was his soul coming out of his body. Yep. He said, the show must go on. Right, yeah. I, I'm not leaving this earth without getting this out of my body, you know? And you know, when you read a story 
uh, or you hear about maybe a famous actor or somebody who you've admired for a long time yeah. going out, right? Leaving this earth, dying with grace, hmm. with humility, hmm. with humor. It's like, whoa, what in the world? Wait a minute. This person may have been an actor, this person may have been a comic, this person may have been a singer, but you're telling me that uh, they made a joke yeah. right before they died? Yeah. They left their family and the world with a smile and a laugh? Mm. It's like, wow. Right, it teaches you a lesson that you can't be taught. No, it, it just teaches you that we are all mortal with choices. You have a choice. Yeah. yeah on how you react to things. You have a choice on how you handle things. Yeah. You can make things harder or you can make things easier for yourself. <laughs> and, and you have a choice on the most important yet most natural event of all. In many cases, you have a choice on how to go out. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, again, I, I, that's something that always sticks with me. When you see somebody dealing with cancer, yeah. Right? Yeah. And they go out with a smile on their face, with acceptance, Ugh. with humor. It's like, that's extremely powerful. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Freddie Mercury. Anything else you yeah. you uh, notice in this video? Yeah, just one more thing. Um, his voice throughout it. Uh, you already mentioned it, but it felt like his voice was just waiting to break through. Yeah. You know, like, Remembering back to what we heard in Bohemian Rhapsody, just that, oh my gosh, out of this world voice. Here, it's like, okay, you could feel it. Like mm. you could feel this voice and it's just waiting to burst through, to burst through. And I know at the end, we did get a, a little bit of breakthrough, mm -hmm. but I was waiting for that just. <sighs> I mean, that may have to do with his condition. The reason for us That's not true. hearing that, yeah, yeah. But you're, I, I, I think I did hear a couple seconds of a breakthrough, yeah. And it was such a painful couple seconds. And like Brian May said, he said he went in and killed it completely, lacerated <laughs> that vocal. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, we might have to find that part and listen to it again. But hey, Jared, we got to move on to these other covers. Oh my gosh! Wait. You know, I, I completely forgot about the other covers. Yeah, to be man. Honest. Like, like we could talk about this forever. We're getting so uh, engulfed in the yeah. story and uh, legendary nature of Freddie Mercury. Legend. That, I mean, let's check these other covers out. Legend, man. All right. Who do you want to go to first? We going to Dimash or we going to Angelina Jordan? Oof, that's a tough one. How about we start with Dimash? All right. Uh, because I have a feeling that Dimash may take us on... Uh, a roller coaster that we need yeah. a little more energy for. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll uh, go to AJ. Okay. So let's start with Dimash's performance. This performance comes from Singer, which I think was renamed or previously named I Am Singer. Yeah, in China, right? In China. Uh, and we've seen a few performances from him uh, from this competition. Okay. So he performs The Show Must Go On in 2017. You ready? Click that button. Let's check it out. 大家好,我是刘烨. 阿来呢,由于航班延误的原因没有办法来到这个舞台,今天由我来代班. 因为节目播出之后,我相信在座的各位电视机前的观众朋友和我一样,都深深的喜欢上了这位歌手. It's an escort. Dimash要来了。我看看,传说中颜值最高的。His favorite is rock music。而他今天呢，带给我们的是一首摇滚乐。The show must go up。带给我们的是一首摇滚歌曲，来自他最爱的摇滚乐队——皇后乐队。掌声有请迪马西带来The show must go on They said that's his favorite band Yeah, yeah Queen Oh, Jerry, you can already tell he's gonna kill this <laughs> The confidence The confidence He knows what he's about to do
said, here goes nothing. But look, he, he walks with so much confidence, but the sweet smile every single time. Come on, Dimash. There's that heartbeat, that heartbeat. Come on. Shock, right? Yeah. Fierce. Fierce. Oh, I like that word. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, I need. 
Maestro, thank you so much. <laughs> he said he's stressed out. Oh. Wow. 每次女马西表演结束，我感觉整个屋顶都快给掀翻了。You got, you got first this time, man. Are you sure? Oh, Jared, I'm positive. I have to gather myself over here, man. Okay. Um, Dimas just sucked the energy out of my、uh, life. You know, I was not expecting this. What were you expecting? I, I don't know, Jordan. We just listened to Queen's song, right? And when you listen to a song for the first time, you get a sense of okay. This is how Queen designed the song.、Mm -hmm. This is how Freddie Mercury wanted it to be sung. Right. Okay. Dimash just takes that. Right.、Mm -hmm. He takes that,、mm -hmm. and he just completely just obliterates all possibility. That's the word. That's the word. Obliterate. Obliterate. He obliterates it. If Freddie Mercury lacerated、ah. the vocal, ooh, Dimash will. <laughs> right, he obliterated it, Jordan.、Mm -hmm. uh, they said that rock is Dimash's favorite genre. That's right.、Uh, I didn't hear any rock here. What I heard, maybe a little bit. Yeah, what'd you hear? What I heard was Dimash obliterating the standalone genre of rock <laughs> and throwing in opera, opera, gospel, okay, R and B. Soul, soft、mm. pop. If that's a genre, I don't know at this point. I mean, Jordan. Again, we've probably said this many times in our previous Dimash reaction videos,、yeah. but just you know, this man can go to the depths、yep. of the ground, underground, with how low. <laughs> yeah, he can go. He can go to the heavens when he goes high. Okay. Either way he goes, it pierces the soul, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? His voice is piercing, whether it's low or high, Jordan. And the final thing I want to say here is that passion simply is not the word anymore. You know, Dimash is not passionate, right? He's very passionate. He allures the audience. That's what someone said, which is true.、Mm. Another guy said, "Fierce." Yeah, fierce.、He、blew the blew the roof off. This blows、place. the roof off. These are just not enough. Jordan, this right here is his life's purpose.、Mm. This is what Dimash was put on this earth to do.、Mm. This man has a gift that very few people have. And the fact that he goes out here and just performs with extraordinary passion、yeah. and fierceness, whether it's five people in an audience, two hundred people in an audience, or two hundred thousand, it does not matter. He's from a different planet. I hand it over to you, Jordan. You said so many words that I wrote down. You said、uh, piercing. Yeah. You said obliterated. Like Jared, we could we could name a hundred different words、yeah. uh, that fit into what Dimash does every time he hits the stage, every time he graces the stage with his presence. But I think the deers out there already handled that for us, Jared. Yeah. So we don't have to go down that list. And that one word is Dimashified.、Ooh. That's it. That's all you have to say at this point because we continue to say the same things over and over again. We know what this man is capable of now, <laughs> but what I find so interesting is that not only does he take a song and completely flip it upside its head with the utmost respect, yep, right to his favorite genre of music and his favorite band, Queen. Queen. So he takes a song, infuses it with respect, but infuses it with eccentricity. Mm -hmm. Use that word、oh, for think, for Freddie Mercury. You think Dimash infuses it with eccentricity? You talk about different. When have you ever heard a cover that sounds like any cover that Dimash does? Yeah, yeah. Eccentric might not even be the word. He just Dimashifies it, but he does so without the use of auto tune,、mm -hmm. without the use of any vocal filters. He has a stage presence to him, and he utilizes 
every piece of the stage. He falls ah. to his knees. He uh, basically gives us a production. Yeah. But that's what I find so interesting every time he touches the stage. Here. It's all natural. You're not questioning, oh, wait, is that his real voice? Oh, yeah. No, no. That is his real voice. He's going from, like you said, the depths of the earth all the way to the heavens in the the blink of an eye. The reason why we know it's his real voice is because the man can switch in a millisecond. In the blink of an eye. The blink of an eye. Instantly. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. And you said that Freddie Mercury didn't really have many breakthroughs, right? Uh, I think we got the (laughs) breakthroughs that Freddie didn't give us. Uh, Hey, and that's no disrespect, Jordan. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's the utmost respect. I mean, wow. The look of shock on the the people's faces. <laughs> yeah. Not just the crowd, but the people sitting backstage, I believe. The yeah. other singers uh-huh. were those. The looks on their faces and the looks on the crowd's faces. The people in the crowd. Priceless. It's not like, ah, oh, yes. It's... You're, you're stuck mm-hmm. on every millisecond because you don't know what he's going to do next. Yeah. So that's the mosh. Okay. Um... I think it was good that we started with Dimash. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, but now we have the young and gifted Angelina Jordan, who I am hoping, just out of my selfish love for the genre of R&B Ooh. and soul, I am hoping that Angelina Jordan's rendition of The Show Must Go On leans in that direction. But again, this could go any Right. Way. Right. Yeah. I am kind of hoping for a slower version as well. Yeah. Because Angelina Jordan does that so well. She takes a song and she just absorbs it and feeds it to us in a digestible way. Yeah. Um, so Angelina Jordan's cover, The Show Must Go On, it says, was released three years ago. So this must have been when she was around 13 or 14 years old. And Jerry, she just turned 17 years old. We just learned that. She just turned 17. So let's get into this. No more words are needed. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right. Good luck. All right, brother. (laughs) The wave, man. What's this mask about? It must have some significance, right? Oh, her eyes are just... Empty spaces. Okay. What are we living for? Abandoned places. I guess we know the score. <laughs> all in all, does anybody know what we are looking for? Another hero. Another mindless cry behind the curtain. In the pantomime oh, mm. Hold the line Does anybody want to take it anymore? The show must go on oh, Yeah oh. The show must go on Yeah Inside my heart is breaking My makeup may be flaking But my smile Whatever happens, I leave it all to chance. Another heartache, another favorite man's all in all. Does anybody know what we are living for? I guess I'm learning, I must be worried. Round the corner now oh. Outside the dawn is breaking But inside in the dark Come on, come on I'm making to be free The show must go on Yeah The show must go on Yeah Inside my heart is breaking oh. Smile, 
smile. Smile. My soul is painted like the wings of butterflies. Oh. Fairy tales of yesterday will grow but never die. I can fly, my friend. The show must go on. Yeah. The show must go on. Oh. Ooh, I talk the bill, I love a kill, I have to find the wind to carry on. What do you got, Jordan? Thank you. I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> ask. Do you mind, Jordan? Uh, I have a few things to say, brother. We seem to forget every single time um, we have a break, and this time it was an extended break from both of these artists. Yeah, she had to close her eyes, which is something I think she often does. Right? I had to close my eyes. Too. <laughs> you had to close your eyes too. Oh yeah. I was so fixated on watching her body language as she was singing mm. because it's important when she said my smile stays she smiled yeah and to me that signifies strength Jared. Mm. we all smile at times when we don't want to smile mm. and that's what freddie mercury did he gave when he probably didn't have enough to give himself preach he gave i'm just saying that's what dimash does yeah he gives his voice, his presence, his performance to people. That's selflessness. Yeah. Angelina Jordan doesn't wear shoes. Let's not forget that. Mm. She gives. Yeah. Right? So I feel like these two, Angelina Jordan and Dimash, were the perfect artists to cover this song. Yeah. The respect, everything. They are beautiful souls. And just lastly, Jared, if I can comment on Angelina Jordan's voice in this. I'm not a vocal coach. <laughs> when she was saying, the show must go on. Yeah. Show must go. And then she, she said yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah. There was no breath. Ah. Right? There's no yeah. breath in between yeah. that. That's impressive. There was a moment where she did take a breath after saying it twice. Yes. At the end, right? Yeah. And then lastly, um, I don't think I noticed this before in the other songs that we uh, heard from her. There's a shakiness in her voice mm -hmm. that is so unique to her. When she was saying at one point, show that right there stood out in this one that I don't think it stood out in, uh, in the previous ones. That's all I got. I want to hear what, what you have to say. Uh, unfortunately, I only wrote down two letters. Two letters? Two letters on my page. Um, and those two letters were O-N. When she says, the show must go on. <laughs> I mean, that was like the first moment that, oh, oh gosh. Jordan. And we're going to have to re-listen to that. But she literally, and I don't, I, I wish I had the vocabulary uh, to describe what she is doing here. Mm -hmm. She literally switches between three or four different vocal tones or registers or whatever the correct terminology is in one word. Mm. On. The show must go on. I'm not even talking about that part. I'm just talking about the word on. on. So can we watch that again? Yeah. The show must go on, yeah, the show must go on, uh. yeah. Mm -hmm. It 
it's so subtle. Mm. It's so subtle, but in that moment, I felt like time had stopped. Yeah. And I heard all, it's like steps, right? Yeah. The show must go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. She goes down and then she goes back up. <sighs> Is that what Freddie Mercury did with his voice? I don't know. When he sang that part? Let's listen. Does anybody want to take it anymore? Sort of similar. Yeah. Yeah. And now quickly, let's listen to how Dimash <laughs> does it. We could do this all day, Jared. But th again, three different renditions and three beautiful oh, renditions yeah. of, of this one part. The yep. chorus. Oh, completely Show different. Must go All right, we, we get it, Dimash. You have the ability to create your own <laughs> vocal registers, yeah. your own steps on the scale. Like, a wow, hey man, this was a this was a wonderful experience. Oh yeah, listening to the song for the very first time. Yeah, all respect to Freddie Mercury. We've only heard two songs in depth from him, and again, we still haven't seen the movie. We still haven't. I feel like that would almost ruin some of the songs for us, though. Ah. so we will eventually. Shout out to Dimash. Yeah, killed it. Dimashified it. And then we uh, are leaving with the sweet sound of Angelina Jordan's voice. Yeah. Soothing our ears and our spirits and giving us hope. Because the show must go on, brother. The show goes on. Mm -hmm. Not only for us, Jordan. Yeah. As we continue our reactions to these incredible artists. But the show goes on for all of you watching. Mm. We hope you are doing well. We hope that you are in good spirits. And again, you heard these three artists. The show goes on. The show goes on. Even if my heart is breaking, Jared, even though my heart might be breaking, yeah, my smile remains. It stays on. That's right. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We thoroughly enjoyed this experience. If you did as well, make sure you leave a like down below. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. But most importantly, be kind and keep an open mind, everybody. Peace.